Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for today. Rays of hope to carry us through these old dark days of unrest. Well, friend, if you will, pick up your Bible. Turn with me over to Psalm number 121, and let's see some light to shine forth during these dark times. Psalm 121. I titled this devotion, Our God is an Alert God. Listen to the Word of God. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hill from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. My friend, these are some very encouraging words knowing that we serve a God who is an alert God, a God who is always on time, a God that is never late, a God who is always there, a God who will never leave nor forsake, a God who is ever-present, the psalmist said here he's going to lift up his eyes to the hills from which cometh his help. You know, my friend, too many times we get our eyes focused on the wrong thing. The psalmist has the right idea here, looking to the hills, looking upward to the one who can help in time of need. And he says, my help cometh from the Lord. Too many people are looking for their help elsewhere. They're looking to their help uh, from stimulus checks and uh, handouts, and the list could just go on and on. Friend, we need to look for our help to come from the Lord. He says, My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And when you reach a place with God that you're close enough to Him, you will know that He will keep you no matter what. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He is a keeping God. He don't throw anything out that he loves, and he loves you with an everlasting love. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Listen, he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Hallelujah. You know, my friend, whenever I think about that verse of Scripture, I got to thinking, have I ever called on God and not heard that small, still voice, here, here am I? God is always ever-present in the life of the child of God. He will never, ever leave nor forsake. He's very present at any given moment. I've called on him in the wee hours of the morning, and I've heard that small, still voice say to my heart, My son, here am I. I've called on him, uh, my friend, in midday when everybody's so busy and seemingly working. I've called on him, and I've heard him say, My son, here am I. Now, I wish that I could tell you that he's always answered all of the prayers that I prayed in a way that I wanted him to. 
But friend, he, he doesn't do that. He knows what's best for us. And he answers prayers in his way. I always tell people that God always answers prayer. And he does. Now, he may not ever give you all your wants, but he'll always meet your needs. But he always answers prayer. He, he's always there to keep you and to carry you through this life. I tell people that God answers prayer in one of three ways. He'll either say yes, he'll either say no, or he'll either say wait. And, and friend, that's so very true. And we don't like to hear the no or the wait because we live in such an instant society that we want it right now. Right now, God, right now. But the Bible says here that he doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber. He's there anytime you call on him. Uh, he says, the sun will not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will preserve you from all evil, and he'll preserve your soul. Friend, let me tell you something. Fear not the one that can destroy this body alone, but rather fear the one who could destroy body and soul. And if you belong to God, you better bet that you are preserved. You are preserved and there is a home waiting just for you. Jesus said he was going to prepare a place. And he said, if I go and prepare a place, I'll come again. Notice what it says in verse 8. The Lord will preserve thy going out, thy coming in from this time forth, and listen, even forevermore. Now, I wish that I could tell you that you won't ever have to worry about sickness and disease. But friend, we all have to deal with that because of the fall of mankind, disease and sin has caused disease and sickness to enter into this old land. But let me tell you something. Friend, Jesus has brought a healing about that is a miraculous healing. And though this old body may age and grow old and I, call, I just say it's wearing out. When I was a young do uh, yesterday afternoon I was outside trying to do a little bit of yard work and uh, I just got winded real quick and uh, I looked at my wife and I said honey I just can't hold out like I used to could she said well you didn't used to be uh, 65 years old I said well that's very true these old bodies age and they wear out uh, knees buckle and uh, uh, you just can't do what you once used to do but oh there's coming a day <laughs> there's coming a day Jesus said he that lives and believeth in me shall never die there's coming a day when we'll receive that new body that he's created and it'll never grow weary or tired it'll never grow sick it'll never have sorrow or pain but until that day comes, we press on knowing that God has preserved us for that day. And friend, I don't know about you, but these few words of Psalm 121 just encourage me to know that we serve a God that never sleeps, never slumbers. He's always on call. Think about that. He's always on call. Had a friend last week to do a devotion that talked about how much time do we give God. I don't think we give God enough of our time. Uh, I had somebody to say to me when I mentioned that to them last week, uh, well, preacher, I have to work. Well, hey, go to your work and be the best worker you can for the glory of God, amen? And, and let God work in you while you work, and he'll bless you for it. Friend, uh, God's always on call. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. And you can call on him any time that you want to call on him. And he'll answer, here am I. Boy, what an awesome God we serve. Don't know about you, but encouraging to the old preacher. God bless you and let's pray. Father, thank you so much for being an on-time God. A God that's always available. A God that doesn't sleep nor slumber. But a God that's on call 24-7. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Your time is not like our time, but Lord, we, we deal with life in time scales. And you're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we can call on you at any given moment. Thank you, dear Lord, for being an on-time God. Thank you for being a God that's always there. 
And uh, Lord, I pray that we can find encouragement in knowing that. And I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, God bless you, my friend, and I pray that you found a little bit of encouragement in these few words. And uh, I challenge you today to, to encourage somebody. There's a lot of people hurting in this old world, and people need to know that they serve a God that can hear them. And if they don't know him, introduce them to him where they can get to know this old-time God. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.